What's up guys? So today I'm going to go over how I organize my licenses as well as how I go about sending my license and stuff that you can help whether you're on telesales, whether you're doing meetings, uh, if you're doing in-homes, you probably just need to uh, print those out. But these are some automations that I use in my business every day that helps me just build credibility uh, when I go in and do the sale. Now, the first thing is if you're not already just giving your license when you do go into that sale, I do find that it does make it a lot easier to end up getting the sale, especially you're able to build that trust on the front end. So when it does come to the application, it's really just down to a numbers and whether or not they do want that coverage in place for their family. So the first one is obviously if you are running telesales, uh, one of my favorite ones to do is just on your iPhone. So what you'll do is download all of your licenses and then just take a screenshot of each one, add it to a folder on your phone, and then just have insurance licenses. So if you're running telesales or anything like that and you're not running any automations at all, that is going to be the easiest way for you to be able to do that just because when you get on the phone with them, you'll say, hey, I'm going to send over my license. Were you able to get that? You can attach a photo of yourself if you want. Uh, it really just depends. I sometimes do, sometimes don't, uh, but I do make sure that I always get that license to them just so that they already have that. Now, obviously that is a little robust and you can forget sometimes, etc. So I built out workflows and I'm going to show you how a couple different ways that you can go about giving your license to other people so it can make your life just a little bit easier. So if we just go into go high level here, so this is the workflow I have built out for uh, booking with our license. Now, I know this one looks absolutely massive and you really don't have to do much. A lot of it is the same workflow, just copied and pasted over and over again. And at the very end, the only difference is when we look at that workflow, um, all it's going to do is the attached license is going to be whatever my license is. So everything this far is a copy and put on the next. So what we want to do to set this workflow up is going to be the first one. I'm going to send a message in Slack just to make sure that it is booked. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a condition. So for this one, you can only have 10 branches in go high level. So what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to break up those branches into different ones. So for this one, uh, we're just going to have, if it is South Carolina, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, and then Indiana, uh, Michigan, Florida, pass that. If it doesn't have anything, um, I do have a fail safe built in. So if they are missing that license, uh, if you see here, if it's not filled out or they don't have any of that, it's just going to send them that entire one. But at the very end, it's not going to send a license at all. So then if it's a state that I don't normally run, um, they will not get that automation with that license. It will just send them a reminder and then I'll send them that license on the meeting. So how we're breaking this down is the first part is we're going to have the conditions. So if it's, it's an or statement. So then what happens is when we go down here, now we're going to divvy up in between each license. So South Carolina, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, as you can see there. And then if you go over, it's going to be Indiana, Michigan, and Florida. So past that, all these automations are exactly the same. And then at the very end, all I'm doing is changing that license. So what that does, especially when you're going into a meeting, you never have to remember to send your license, which I never found as a problem. But one thing it does help in your meeting is right when you open up that meeting, you say, hey, were you able to get a copy of my license? Normally they're able to, normally they have it and they say yes. If they say no, you have it on your phone, just send it to them. And so what you'll do there, they'll get that license. Now me, I run PowerPoint presentations. So for the way I run it is I say, perfect, you got that. Then when I'm running my Zoom appointment, I'll just pull up that license. I'll circle the number if they do want to look me up. So then they, there's that connect where it's the same thing on all of them. Now, the, another way that you can do that, depending if you're running Facebook leads or anything like that, if you're going to shoot them an external website, um, one way you can do that is with a credibility page. So on one of these, this was made on Go High Level's website maker. Um, all you have to do for this one, I just bought the domain Protect My Family with Brandt. Uh, I rarely use this one just because I send the license beforehand. So I don't really have to worry about it. But if I do have to send somebody there, I do have that available. So all it is, 
just a basic page and then with carriers and the different types of coverage. This is just a basic landing page. You can do it in the funnel builder or the website builder. Uh, if you would like a tutorial on how those work, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to do a tutorial on how those work and how you can get those taken care of. Now, for this one, you have a couple options on the click here to verify license. Uh, the first one I found that can be a little annoying is if you create another page and then you have to list out all 50 states that you are in or you're not in, and then you're going to link that to a Google Drive. And then when they click on, then they'll have to click on the state and then it'll open the Google Drive and then it will show them that. An easier way to do that is on the click here, uh, I just have it go directly to my Google Drive. So when they click on that, what it's going to do, it's just going to pull up this page. So on, um, on Google, if you want to share it, all you need to do is share, and then you're going to share it with anybody who has the link. Okay. So anyone with the link right there, and then you'll just copy the link and then you'll put it right there. And then, so what happens is when they do click on that, what they will then pull up is this page right here. They're not allowed to edit it or anything. So they'll be able to pull up that page, click on the license they need to see, they'll click on it, and then you'll be able to get that credibility right off the bat. So those are the easiest ways that I found to build credibility. My personal favorite is just sending the tech, automating the text message prior to the meeting because I'm already going to send that anyway. So then I just add that license on top of there. It takes no time at all. And then I know that they have it right when I go into that meeting. So then all I have to do is verify that they did get that license. And at that point, you know, I'm ready to go, ready to run. So I hope you guys like that video. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. If you have any automation questions or any automation programs that you have questions about, but this is the workflow that I do use uh, in order to run all my licenses. So I can just stack up appointments. I never have to remember to send them. Uh, it just automates everything. And Hey, if you guys like this video, please like subscribe uh, and there'll be more videos like this uh, every week. Thanks. Bye.